I'm Chef Plum, and today I'm hanging with my friend and co-host of the Anna and Raven Show on Star 99.9 the weekday mornings, Anna Zapp. What are you doing? I, I don't know. I found this. What are you doing? Look at me. I'm like a professional forklift driver. We're supposed to be drinking beers. What is this? I mean, I want this. Oh. Today, we're taking edible nutmeg on the road to Thimble Island Brewing in Brantford, Connecticut, pending no forklift injuries. We got Dan here, and Dan's the production manager. Dan, how many different beers are we making right now in this room? Right now we're making 12 different beers. That's wow. our max that we can do at any one time. These things are giant, and uh, forgive me for not knowing a whole lot about this, but how many actual beers fit into one of these giant kind of container yeah. things? Well, this is a 90 barrel bright tank, so we can actually fit 2,700 gallons in there. I think Anna's probably finished off one of those since we've been here so far. True, I, just took it, I just dive right in and swim right through it, you know? <laughs> okay. Thimble Island Brewing Company started in 2010, and now they're one of the biggest in Connecticut. And when you think about it, when we started, we were the sixth brewery that got a license in wow, Connecticut, wow. and now there's over 52. So wow. we still keep it a tight brotherhood. Right. We still keep it close. Uh, everyone's there for everyone else. If Stony Creek ever needed an ingredient or a piece of equipment on the fly, we yeah. would totally be there for them. The team at the brewery is focusing on crafting limited release beers too. Doppelbach, right. fantastic name. Tell us a little bit about it. A Doppelbach is basically a Bach is a traditional malty German style lager, oh. and a Doppelbach is just double that. Yeah, so it's double malt. Yeah, and it's usually a little dark. bit darker, yeah. a little bit more, you know, Bach to it. Well, this beer is still in process right now. It's still actually lagering. It just, it's at a very cold temperature and it's just really clarifying and getting that crystal clear flavor. Lagering is a German term which translates to store. So when you make the lager, the yeast that you use is going to produce different flavors. Let's try this Doppelbach. I can't wait. I'm excited to see what it tastes like. So check out the color of that. Look, it almost has that kind of coffee look to it, that kind of coffee. Yeah, but not so dark that it's a stout right. or a porter. It's it's more in line with a light brown. It'll be in, in restaurants okay. and bars around uh, Connecticut, but only on draft. And it wow. should be ready in about another two weeks. So. How long oh. do you expect it to actually be available once it does become available? Usually with these limited releases, we go through it in about two weeks. Oh, and then wow. It's gone. So it's like yeah. get it, it before quick. it's gone? Yes, yes. Wow. yes. Wow. Really quick. Getting a lot of caramel malts, a lot yes. of coffee flavors. A lot of toffee, a lot of caramel, a weird little citrus hint in the background. Right, and you that's uh, that's the, the hops we use. Is that a Cascade hop I'm tasting? No, no, no. it's actually a German hop. A German, German hop okay. called Sapphire. Wow, this is fantastic. I tell you what, even without the carbonation, this is completely drinkable. This is yeah. great. Just like this. Mm. I wouldn't even think that it's not done yet. I love these kind of beers with actually uh, German sausages too. Uh, Brats and Knox and all that kind of stuff. Sausages. Did you say sausages? I might have mentioned it. <laughs> I think he said sausages, Anna. I mean, I love sausage. Well, on that note, let's go pair some sausage from our friends at South Avenue Butcher with some Thimble Island beer. You should know that I don't know any idea what I'm doing. I watch so, you cook right. all the time on Instagram. You're doing a great job. You think? <laughs> all right, no. what, I, what do I do? No. No. no, no. All right, here we go. These sausages, Anna's gonna put them in this pan right here. The pan's nice and hot. It's got a little bit of butter in there. Give me two or three in there, no problem at all. The sausages are poached in the American ale from Thimble Island. So we brought the temperature up in the pan and then cooked the sausages in it until they feel nice and firm. Already the oh my smell God. is out of control. But look at you, you're a pro. See that sear on there right there? Awesome. And don't get it confused. When you sear a piece of meat like that, a lot of people say that's called caramelization. You're caramelizing the meat. Guys, meats don't caramelize. Meats do what's called the Maillard reaction. It's a misnomer. Can you spell misnomer? Nope. Me either. This is called a root veg mash. So what we did, we got some parsnips, a little squash, Cook it down in some hot, hot water, a little salt, and mash it up like mashed potatoes. Check this out. You gotta taste this, Anna. Ready? Get in here before we do anything else with it. Taste that. See what you think. Root veg mash, taking the place of potatoes. What do you think? It tastes healthy and delicious. Killer, right? Yeah. Great flavor. Anna, how are those sausages looking? They look incredible. Wait awesome. till you see how brown they are. Let me see. Nice. I'm paying really close attention to how she's cooking. <laughs> As you should. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anna, you got one sausage for me? No, I absolutely do. Here we go. These are parsley and cheese sausages from our good friends over at South Avenue Butcher. Look at that. 
Look at that. See that oh, juice coming out? Amazing. Oh my god, here we go. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pop these guys right on the plate just like this. Parsley and Parmesan sausage, a little bit of raw onion right on top, just like that. And here's what we're gonna do. I like a little bit of heat. I have some beautiful crushed red pepper right here. Yep. Check this out, Anna. Ready? Let's see. Here we go. Right oh, on top, just yeah. like that. Just like that. Throw me one more down right here. Here we go. Look at this baby. Look at that. Look at that. I did baby. that. I wow. did that. Wow, nicely done. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful color right there. Yeah. Looking phenomenal. A few slices. Easy does it. Right? This and is a perfect it. dish to serve with like oh a, a my nice gosh, with some beer, delicious right? Beers. This is such an easy dinner, even for somebody like me that has no idea how to cook. <laughs> I think you're doing a great job. Thank you. Don't sell yourself short. Here we go. Guys, get in here and give this a go. This is phenomenal. What's the verdict? <laughs> beer, <laughs> we did sausages, it. up top, you and me. Boom. Make sure you check out my friend Anna, Star 99.9, Anna and Raven Show, weekday mornings. I'm Chef Plum. This right here is Thimble Island Brewing Company. Make sure you check these guys out, and I'll catch you guys on down the road next time on Edible Nutmeg on the Road.